So this is the worked solutions for the 2017 paper for level two probability, the external that's 91267. This one is for question three. And I'm just gonna do the first two parts in this one. So salmon are grown in sea pens. Each pen contains several thousand salmon. After one year in the pens, male salmon have shown uh, weights that are approximately normally distributed with a mean of 4,125 4, and a standard deviation of 65. So my first thing is to draw a little sketch with that bit of information. So it's normal distribution, we've got the curve like that. The mean is 4,125 and the standard deviation is 65. Find the probability that after this one year in the pen, so that's just this situation, don't let that put you off, um, a randomly selected male will weigh between 4,125 and 4,200 grams. So on our diagram, it's between this number and 4,200. We want in between that, so we want to find the area of that shaded region. So we go to our graphics calculator, and I'm just going to note down GC to show my marker that that's what I'm using. So whoever's marking my paper knows I've done it on the graphics calculator. We go to our stats menu there, distributions, we're doing a normal and we're doing the straightforward one, so it's this one in CD. Um, now my calculator has been reset, so I need to make sure I change that. We don't have values in a list on the previous page, that you know the menu before, we need to put the variables in, so I need to select variables there, F2. Okay, my lower limit um, over here was 4125. The upper is 4200. The standard deviation is 65. And the mean, 4125. And then execute. And here is my probability. So the probability equals 0.3757. And with these normal distributions, we're going to go to four significant figures. Okay, next question. What's the maximum weight of the lightest 10%? So here's my picture. And always draw a picture for your normal distributions. We want the lightest 10%, so the smallest of those fish down here, 10%. We want to work out this value right here. We've got a probability and we're working backwards to a value. That means we are doing the inverse normal because we're going backwards. We don't, have a prob we don't have a number to work out its probability. We've got a prob probability to work out its number. So back here, we haven't changed any of the sigma and, and the mean, um, but we have changed the portion we're looking at. So our lower limit, we'll just go back to here. We're going to select inverse normal. Now, make sure this is saying variable again. We've got a left-hand tail. The area is 10%, which we have to put in as decimals, 0 0.1. And the mean and the standard deviation haven't changed. Okay, so I've entered those things. And our inverse normal gives us a x value of 4,041.699. And I'm going to write that rounded up sensibly, so we're talking about grams, so I'm going to go for 4,042 grams. Now if you take a look at the mark schedule for that question, it looks like this. So we can see just getting a straightforward probability on that first question. This one got us a U. That's a point towards achieved. So we give it that U mark. And this one here, so part two, um, if we wrote down what the Z value was, that would be if you're working off of tables, not the graphics calculator, then you would get an achieve point there. But if you're going straight to the graphics calculator, all you need is the final answer. See here, it says correct answer. You can accept the correct answer only without working. So this one here got us a merit point.